students let's continue uh, now we are going to learn high level language which is third generation language what is this high level language made up of high level language is simple and user friendly it is a language which is machine dependent large number of people opted for writing computer programs using this language i have quoted this example just for your reference that how third generation language is been used this is a basic program what we are using it in this year you are going to study how to write this language and how to execute that means running the program and getting the output so uh, just a few example over here for your reference how the language is written it is known as high level language why we can understand because it is using a very simple english to communicate with the machine it is quite similar to the english language example of such languages are basic using basic language i had just quoted an example over here other languages are c c++ java etc high level language programs need to be translated into machine language by using the translator programs there are two types of translator programs they are known as interpreter and compiler first what is interpreter this translator program is used to convert high level program into machine language it translates line by line that means it will allow you to type the program it converts one line at a time that means once you type it will allow you to type the program and then when you press enter to write the next line it will execute that particular line it will execute that instruction based on the instruction if there is if there is any kind of error it will highlight it and it will show to you so that you can remove the error and go ahead then repeats the procedure for the remaining instruction errors have to be removed immediately the converted form is not stored anywhere and has to be generated at the time of execution of the program interpreter programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution speed so basically interpreter will help first time programmers so that they can learn step by step they can understand various kind of errors which are coming in the execution of the program and they can improve upon it and then they can rewrite the program remove the errors and then rerun the program a diagrammatic representation i have shown this is high level language interpreter and this is the output this is how the interpreter is working it works line by line compiler compiler is a translator program used to convert a high level program into machine language it translates the whole program at once that means if a compiler is used in a program it will first of all allow you to type the entire program without highlighting any mistakes but when you want to execute or run the program it will show list of errors that means you have to first of all clear all the errors and then only after removing the error only it is going to allow you to execute 
it generates the object code for the program along with list of errors compiler is very fast compared to that of the interpreter because interpreter you have to go line by line whereas compiler the speed is fast because it will allow you to type the entire program and after that only it is going to show you the list of errors a diagrammatic representation i have shown c program is an example of such kind of compiler used program this is the source code this is compiling compiling is used of course to convert the language what you are typing into the machine language and accordingly the output will be given this is binary code executing input given by the user and the output because we are desiring the output so source code compiling happens binary code this binary code which we do not know how it is working but it is executed in such a way that we type in english and we get the output in english the processing work of converting the simple english into machine language has been done by the compiler let's go ahead now we come to the fourth generation language or 4gl fourth generation languages are closer to human language than any other high level language fourth generation languages have following features what are they they are highly user friendly they are portable and independent if i say highly user friendly that means it is using a simple english to type the program and it will execute in the machine language which is happening in the machine it might be used by a interpreter or a compiler and then again it will give me back the answer in a simple english so it is user friendly portable that means a program installed in one machine of fourth generation language will definitely work in another machine also so i can carry the program i can install the program in another machine and then i can run the same program over there that's why it is called as portable and independent so it doesn't require that a program will work in one machine may or may not work in another machine independent means it will work in each and every machines very high speed of execution that means it will allow you to type the program and then it will create the list of errors you have to remove the error and then it will execute and give you the answer so very high speed of execution designed to reduce the overall time it takes to develop software and the cost of software development so the main purpose of four generation language is for commercial use in fourth generation language the user has to specify only the required output and the format of the output without bothering about the steps required to obtain that that means this language is so fast that the commands the instructions written in this program are very simple you just have to visualize what kind of output you require and accordingly you have to write the program and after writing the program you will get the desired output in the end just a brief about what we learned in the chapter is in machine language we learned is it uses binary codes to depict operators and data it is machine dependent it is the only language which is directly understood by a computer in assembly language it uses mnemonic codes or symbols instead of binary numbers it is machine dependent it has to be converted into machine language by translator programs known as assemblers in high level language it uses english words and mathematical operators it is machine dependent it has to be converted into machine language by translator programs known as interpreters and compilers in fourth generation language it is machine dependent independent minimal 
user skills required to obtain result application development tool fact file lady ada lovelace is regarded as the first computer program this is lady ada lovelace the pic is of lady ada lovelace and she is considered as the first computer programmer syntax are the rules governing the formation of statements in a programming language what is syntax it is the method to write a particular command right to execute it and get the desired output like 10 input 10 print or 50 and input means it will allow you to enter data print means it will run the program execute the program and it will display the result in the output and means you are asking the program to stop so few examples for this locator identifier separation protocol protocol it is l i s p was the first computer language for writing artificial intelligence program it was created by john mccarthy now what he has created is the language and i just wanted to quote an example of lisp machine which is used for executing the artificial intelligence data into it i just try to find out this is the lisp machine you can see it in software development beta release refers to a product or a technology which is still in development but released only for testing and evaluation purpose that means it is used for primary uh, purpose of uh, testing before it is released into the market so they are going to do various kind of experiments on the product and once they are sure that the product is working in all sense then it is released into the market so that is called as beta release the first interactive computer game was space war when you say interactive means it is giving the proper response to the commands given by the humans so that was the first interactive computer game the term software was first used by john w tucky in 1957 thank you